Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Naruto Storm Connection. So, this is a topic that I saw that somebody commented on one of the last videos I made where I went over characters from the original OG Naruto that should be in the Storm Connections game. Uh, check that out below. I'll have it, you know, suggested. But um, anyways... This topic, so people want to know if movie characters from Naruto are going to be in Storm Connections. So, as of right now, we don't know if there's going to be a Season Pass 2. I mean, I honestly think they're going to make a Season Pass 2. They have to if they want to compete with, you know, of course, the amazing explosion of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. But at the same time... The certain, like, the when you think about what characters are going to be in this season pass, it's not that hard to see. I mean, you have Anko, Shizune, a couple characters that, you know, we know that we desperately need in this game. Or they can hit us with a full 180 and give us a bunch of Boruto characters. Either way, I think we're going to be getting more DLC for this game. Uh, anyways, so I want to get into this particular topic. And, and the problem that I see is that... Naruto movie villains are very, very mid. And I know that's, you know, pretty crazy to hear. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but they're not popular. They're not memorable. I mean, of course, I found a couple that I think could make it, but this was a hard topic to really go over because I did rewatch some of the Naruto movies and I went over a few things. But I mean, I don't think there's so many different characters that they can pick that are better than every Naruto villain in a movie, you know, they're just not memorable, they're very gimmicky, like, the Zero Tales one, it's just like, it's all fan, fan stuff, but I think, you know, their options, we have some really good options, uh, for my first honorable mention, I have Hiruko, which is in the movie where Kakashi has to go off, because, you know, he's, he wants to sacrifice himself, and Naruto's like, nah, I can't have nobody else going on their own to sacrifice himself, but um, he was a classmate of Jiraiya and Tsunade. So, you know, he's one of the old heads that's insanely strong. And in the movie, he's using a bunch of broken abilities and stuff, like ice style and all that. And it's it's really, he has a lot they can make in this game, but he's really not popular enough. You know, he's insanely broken, but people aren't going to be like, oh, I want the Naruto villain for movie five. Nobody's going to want that. Everybody's going to want code. And, you know, characters that we don't have in Storm Connections. Um, another one that I... This is my personal pick. He's not really that popular, but I feel like he maybe is a good option. Uh, it's Nadare Roga. And he was the first villain from the first Naruto movie. So that's already... He's got some popularity from that. Because that's the first ever Naruto movie we got. Clash in the Land of Snow. And he's actually an Ice Keke Genkai user. And we don't have a lot of those in this game. We have Haku. That's basically it. But this would be a very unique move style and really cool to look at. Uh, the only issue is that I really don't think he would make it into this game ever because he's not popular. He's not even the main, main villain of the movies, like in the, the squad of villains, like the lackeys for the main villain. But he does have an insane fight with Kakashi that kind of makes him relevant. And, of course, being an Ice Style user. But, uh, yeah, I don't think he's that hyped up to where, oh, I want Nadare from that trio in the first Naruto movie. So, I really don't think he would make it either. But he is in my list of characters that I think could make it. Now, these next three, absolutely, I think they should make it to this game. And there's a lot of evidence provided why they should make it into the game. Now, the first one I have is Menma Uzumaki. This is basically the alternative reality of Naruto, the version of Naruto where he had everything he ever wanted, but there's some negatives because he's getting everything he's ever wanted, including, you know, stuff because of Obito and the actual reality. Because even in an alternative reality where Naruto gets everything he wants, Obito still manages to screw his life up for him, you know? But, um... Yeah, so I rewatched that movie, and it, it's really, it's really good. The lore and everything behind it, especially Naruto having a happy life, kinda, except for the ending. 
But um, yeah, because he's he kind of has to go away from his parents, and it's just a sad moment and all that. There is a lot of sad moments in in the movie, but our boy Iruka makes everything fine at the end of the day. But um, yeah, Menma is insanely strong. He's got a bunch of things. Um, I, when I was watching, he had a lot of summoning jutsus that he was using, like these strange masked creatures. And I honestly think that would be perfect for combos and stuff. Like his up combo could have that flying bird coming up and shooting you into the air, and then you can dash up and get him again. There's a bunch of different things, but I think it could be similar to Kakazu, because Kakazu has his different heart monsters that come out and use different uh, jutsus like water style, wind style, and fire style. So that would, I feel like that would look crazy. That would go, re I mean, it's very unique to Menma, you know? And it's bringing stuff from that movie. Another thing is that he uses this, like, black, dark Rasen Shuriken. And they could make some cool little effect to it or whatever and just make a cool ultimate if they wanted with that. But it is different. I mean, it's... He's going to be similar to Naruto, obviously, because he's basically Naruto in a different reality. So he's going to be Naruto, but he is also ex insanely unique. You know, he's got a bunch of different stuff for him. And another thing that I, I feel like Menma is a good option is because they have all the costumes from no Road to Ninja in the game. They have the Hinata one, they have the uh, Sasuke, and, you know, they have those different, the uh, limited Tsukuyomi ones. And that's basically from when Sakura and Naruto went in there. And I think they're also going to give, they're going to give us Naruto with the Hokage cloak soon. I, I seen that was a leaked costume. And Menma, like, give us Menma as well. Like, he's not an unpopular villain. People know him, and he's basically another Naruto in a different reality. So I feel like that he's a very good option for a, a movie character that could be DLC. But um, besides him, like, he, he's right there, up there with these two. But these two have something special going on, and I'll tell you why. So, the next one is, is a little... It's kind of cheating. It's not cheating, but it is kind of cheating. So, this next one's from the Boruto movie. And it is called Boruto Naruto the movie. So, I mean... Come on now, it's a Naruto movie. We have Yurashiki. So, I mean, I've said in many videos that this character should be in this game. I know he's considered filler... But he's very popular. He's a very popular character. He's an Otsutsuki. He's got a whole transformation. He's got a bunch of unique things with that chakra fishing rod thing. He's got his summonings. He's got the big giant Rasengan thing that he does, the blasts. He's he can they can cook with this. He's just a CC2 kind of character to make, you know? But um he's also an Otsuki, Otsutsuki member. And we have mostly all the Otsutsuki members in the game now with Hagoromo. So we'll get him. And then, of course, this next guy, probably the most popular movie character to be in the Storm Connections game, who's already in the game, by the way. He's in the story mode. We have Toneri Otsutsuki. I've mentioned him. This is going to probably be my fourth video talking about Toneri and why Toneri should be in Storm Connections. He honestly should have been in that last se season pass. I mean, I understand why they would want to give us Kawashiki and Boroshiki, and they did cook with them, but it's it's a little, it's getting disrespectful that CC2 is not listening to us. We need Toneri in the game. Even if they said, all right, yeah, we're done with season passes, we can't mess with this game anymore, with, with, we can't use any more characters for this game because we got Sparking Zero whooping us. Everybody's playing that game. Why would they want to play Storm Connections? Give us Toneri and we'll play. Give us characters that are going to hype us up and, and keep giving us content. You know, we'll, we're not going to not play it. We're going to play it, but we're also going to be playing Sparking Zero, and it's understandable why would be, we would be playing that. But, um, yeah, you guys know all about Toneri already. He's got the chakra mode. He had that insane fight with Naruto. He's got an insane moveset. He's one of those explosive characters that CC2 can just make some beautiful art with in his ultimates and his moves, and it would go crazy. And he's also a character we desperately need. He's already basically in the game, you know? So it's just a slap in the face. We have all the costumes of the characters already, too. All the costumes of um, the Naruto, the, the Naruto the last, Naruto, uh, Sasuke the last, Sakura the last, Hinata the last. We have Kakashi and the Hokage. We have all of that. 
You know, so it's 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 getting to the point where it's like, why not just give us Tonary, you know? But um and like I was saying, like everybody who's making videos on season pass two have Tonary on that list because Tonary's like a no questions asked. He needs to be in this game already. I don't know why CC2's just been, you know, avoiding Naruto movies at all costs. I mean, they literally made a whole Boruto, Naruto the movie DLC for Storm 4. So I feel like they can they can definitely give us some things here. But yeah, um, these five characters, or four at least, I feel like they have a, a solid chance of making it. Um, you know, Menma's insanely cool. Yurashiki's insanely popular. And he's an Otsutsuki member. And then Toneri's just like, why isn't he even in this game already? You know, he needs to be in the game already. But um, yeah, guys, I, I hope this answered all your questions about like, are we getting movie characters? Could we get movie characters? Not all of them, because all of them are like, a lot of them are just mid, very, very mid. And these, a few of them are like crazy, insane, like Menma. And, and of course, you you know, the Otsutsuki members, the characters that are very important to the story. But, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you want any of these characters in the game? Would you play any of these characters? What are your ideas for Season Pass 2? It's been SJ Benj. Peace.